Hi guys, it's Ben here with a preview of Bournemouth versus Liverpool, a game that takes place in the Premier League on Sunday afternoon. And to get straight into this one, no messing about, we have to win this one. We absolutely have to after what's happened in the last two games at Anfield. Two infuriating results, two pretty dire performances to be honest against Everton and West Brom respectively. We come up against the Bournemouth side, who haven't won in the last five. They don't score a lot of goals, they're not a particularly scary side, they're not going to park the bus, they're quite well organised of course and they don't actually concede many, I think they've conceded 20 which is the same as us this season in the league. Uh, they went to Old Trafford in midweek and they lost 1-0 so they're not going to be a disgrace and we know what happened last season, they came back from 3-1 behind to win 4-3 against us late on, we'd all have bad memories of that one, the, the heartache and that was kind of where it all started to go wrong for us there uh, last season but look there cannot be any excuses, there cannot be any chances taken here. Um, look, I, I think we might make some changes uh, after rotating slightly again in midweek, uh, but the next game isn't until Friday, so there is time in between this one for rest. So if we wanted to just go with our strongest team here, and then go with the strongest team in Arsenal, and we've got to try and take at least four points from both, ideally six really, if we want to be keeping pace with those in and around us. Um, teams have dropped points around us this weekend. Obviously Spurs have lost at Man City, otherwise Arsenal won but didn't look convincing, United still to play tomorrow, Chelsea got over a line 1-0 against Southampton and the sort of wins that we haven't been able to get, so maybe tomorrow is going to be that sort of day where we just need to get ourselves one of those scrappy wins away from home, no need to be playing free-flowing gorgeous football, just get the result. Obviously I want to see free-flowing gorgeous football, a lot of that will depend on the lineup. I know Emery Chan suspended so Henderson will come back in, which will infuriate a lot of people. Uh, I'm just going to be interested to see how he responds to the recent criticism, the recent poor form, um, something that can be levelled at a lot of our midfielders. Genie Vinaldo needs a big game if he is indeed selected. Adam Lana is going to be in the matchday squad, I doubt he's going to start straight away. Um, especially in a game where arousal levels are bound to be high against, against a team where he's not particularly popular. But I think you know Henderson and Vinaldo will be in the midfield. Um, I struggled to see why Mignolet wouldn't come back in goal. We played with Trent Alexander-Arnold in midweek and Andrew Robertson as the wing-backs or the, the full-backs and uh, I think we might change both. Um, but, uh, we might. I, I'm more confident that Gomez will come in for Trent. I think Rob, we might stick with Robertson for this one. Uh, but there's a good chance Milner will replace him. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I think it's going to be Mignolet, Gomez, uh, Clavin, Lovren and Robertson uh, in defence before Henderson, Vinaldum, Coutinho, Salah, Firmino and obviously Mane is the interesting one taking a lot of criticism and understandably so the failure to set the tee up a teammate for uh, a second goal against Everton and then a pretty limp display midweek. I think Alex Oxlade Chamberlain has been playing pretty well as of late and deserves a go so look if we want to be rotating and giving people rest and dropping people for bad form and Mane I love the guy. I think he's one of my best players. Still, maybe he needs to maybe he needs to be benched for this one, and we'll bring in the ox. I've got no qualms with that, and I think that is what might happen. Um, Bournemouth have got no injury concerns, so apart from the, the long-term ones, like of Tyrone Mings and uh, the Brad Smith, I think, and there are one or two others, but you know, a pretty solid squad to choose from for them. But they're, they're not a side we should be fearing. I know we've had trouble against them in recent years, and they do carry a threat up front with. You know, an array of options, you've got Josh King, you've got Jermaine Defoe, you've got Callum Wilson, um, there's pace with the likes of Stanislas as well in and around there, and you know, they have got some good technical players, I, I do like watching them as a side, but we should be going down there and dominating the game, um, That hopefully they'll come out and try to play, and we'll be able to play around them, and just, just, just outplay them in every department, that's what we should be aiming to do against the Bournemouth side, they haven't won in five games, they haven't been able to beat the likes of Swansea and Palace and other poor sides, towards the bottom of the table so we should have no no problems uh, we will obviously encounter some difficulties um, momentum is completely gone confidence obviously isn't going to be sky high um, fitness you know tired legs tired minds coming into this busy period um, it's it's not a game I'm 100% confident on uh, the bookies have got us at one to two so you know we, we, we are obviously odds on favourites um, if I was to make a prediction uh, I am actually going to pick us to win the game, uh, I, just, I want us to win 1-0, I want us to go down there, get a scrappy 1-0 on the stroke at half-time like Chelsea did today and just get out of there, um, you know, let's, 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 let's see someone, an unlikely goal scorer from a set piece like bloody Ragnar Clavin scoring and just get out of there with a the 1-0 and be done with it, uh, and then we move on to Arsenal who, like us, are, are frustrating, you know, the fans aren't particularly happy, um, but we are... I think we've got more potential. I think I think we've got a better attacking sort of quartet than them. 
Uh, I think we've got a lot of uh, a lot of areas where, where we are stronger. They, they they seem to be better at putting away the, the lesser teams. But um, I think you know we've we've proven with some of these seven 0 wins we've, we've been getting that we've uh, got as much to offer as they have. But obviously that's another story for another day. Let's get through Bournemouth tomorrow. I'm going for a one 0 win. I'm going to pick Ragnar Klavan to score because I think we need one of those scrappy ones. Um, sorry about that, but yeah, guys. Uh, leave a comment with your score prediction and your lineup prediction. Do you think Adam Milano might come straight back into the team? Would you drop Sadio Mane or would you give him another run out here? Would you maybe bring Daniel Sturridge in if he's fit or Dominic Solanke um, after he almost and probably should have got us a winner in midweek? Uh, what would you do at fullback? Obviously with Robertson and Trent there, probably maybe one or two of them getting replaced. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your predictions. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow my other socials too. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I shall see you after the game. Love the Reds.